are in the basement and today, yesterday guys, on this episode of John Sucks at Video Games. Well guys, we're gonna be doing a review slash unboxing type video because we are upgrading this right here in this video. That's right, we're gonna be upgrading my LG 34 inch ultra wide monitor, which by the way has been a fantastic monitor, honestly. That's been a good monitor and I did do a video on that monitor, go back and watch it, but since I built my gaming PC and also I did a video series on that too. But anyway, since I built my gaming PC two years ago, um, I've actually since upgraded my video card because when I built this PC, I put a 970 in there, a GeForce 970, which has been fantastic for uh, for pushing the pixels on a 1080p monitor. But since then, in the last month here, I've upgraded my video card to a 1080 Ti and really it's total overkill for this setup. So in this video here, we're gonna upgrade our monitor to a 1440p ASUS monitor. And by, I mean, honestly, this has been a great monitor. It looks very, very good. I mean, wouldn't you agree? It looks great, but you know, more pixels is better, right? <laughs> because the resolution on that monitor is 2560 by 1080, and the new monitor I got is 3440 by 1440. Is that right, 3440? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> so here it is, guys. Uh, it's actually on the side, and it is 3440 by 1440. There's so many like new resolutions now, right? Uh, like it used to be, oh yeah, 1024 by 768, 800 by 600, <laughs> 1920 by 1080, and now 3440 by uh, 1440 is the new hot resolution. And you know what? It's not 4K, okay? But it's a wide monitor, and I personally think the ultra wide stuff's the way to go. Honestly, you know, since I've had the ultra wide monitor, I can never go back to another standard 16 by 9 monitor ever again. I just cannot do it, especially for gaming. And what's cool about this Asus one is that it's curved. The LG one over there is perfectly flat. This one is curved, so supposedly it's a, in a more, a more of an immersive experience because you're kind of in the middle of the action. Anyway, let's take a look here. And, and by the way, this box is ridiculous. <laughs> it is so big. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> Right. I mean, it is so ginormous. This is such a big box. So anyway, let's look on here. This is the ROG Swift Curved Gaming Monitor. It's the PG348 Republic of Gamers. It's an Asus monitor. Anyway, let's kind of take a look around here. Uh, so it's the PG348Q, uh, 34 inch monitor, 30, 3440 by 1440. Um, on the top here, it kind of lists all the bullet points of the monitor. Um, uh, 3440 by 1440 IPS, curved design, frameless design, 100 hertz. Um, it has a turbo key so you can overclock it to 100 hertz. Um, game plus, you know, this is probably just some marketing BS. One click visual optimization, display port, HDMI, and NVIDIA G Sync, which my old monitor did not have. My old monitor had FreeSync, which is the AMD. Uh, technology to kind of prevent screen tearing and just kind of smooth everything out while you're gaming. So this has G-Sync, which is perfect for me because I have a 1080 Ti. So anyway, why don't we just kind of get into this and I'm going to tell you, I'm a little concerned because there's a giant gash in the box right here. <laughs> Do you guys see that? And I don't know where that happened. It, it happened on the way to my house. I don't know. There's a big hole right here too. So, but there is like ASUS security tape on here. God, where am I gonna open this thing? This box is so obnoxious. So, this tape right here has like the ASUS logo on it. So I'm assuming this has never been opened. But this box is just so stupidly big. So I don't know, should I put this on the ground? Maybe I should. All right, let's let's bring this down here. All right, let's kind of take a peek in here. Okay, so there we go. All right, so it says do this and do that. <laughs> oh my God. Unpacking instructions. It wants me to put it on its side and then pull it out. Okay. All right, we're gonna do that, I guess. All 
right, so here's the panel. So let's kind of just pick this up and bring it over here to the chair. And, and then we're gonna have to put together the stand. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I have a bit of a dilemma. Uh, because I have a monitor mount over there. I have two monitors, top and bottom. And I did not use the LG stand. I used the, the VESA mount and mounted it um, directly to that stand. Now, with this monitor though, it comes with its own stand that is rather cool and, and lights up. So I don't know what to say about that. But there is a mount back here, right here. See that? And then also right here, there's power for the LED that's in the stand. So if you use the VESA mount, this would get ignored. Uh, but if you hook the stand up, it'll get power here to light up the LCD base. So just looking at this thing, I mean, it's like super plasticky. Um, lots of little details molded in for really no reason other than just ornamental cosmetic, but they're definitely trying to make this thing as cool as possible. So let's kind of just take a look. So it survived. There is some kind of blemishing over here. I'm not really sure if that's just a reflection. Okay, so it all looks good. I'm just gonna keep this on here for now. But let's take a look at this at the base. And hopefully this goes together relatively easy. So why don't we come over here <laughs> and see what the base is all about. Yeah, I'm not reading the instructions. All right, I mean, this thing is just crazy. This is pretty much why I went with the Asus one. And if I don't use this base, which I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards not using it, to be honest, um, and here's where the LED is down here. So this whole thing lights up and it, and it projects this logo onto your desk, <laughs> right? Pretty cool. Um, and so the LEDs are gonna get their power, looks like right here. That must, must, must make contact with the body. All right, so why don't we see how hard it is to just put this on there. So I'm gonna do it on this chair. And let's flip this over. Okay, so. And I, there's a cover that goes over this too to hide uh, all the, the plugs for the wires. So, I mean, this thing is, I mean, just look at this with this kind of copper brass appointments. It's, it, this looks like freaking Iron Man's arm or something, doesn't it? <laughs> I guess they know their market. All right, that, well, that was relatively painless. Um, and then let's click on the base. I'm making a massive mess down here right now. I'm not happy about it. All right, so here's the base. And again, it's got Iron Man type stuff going on. And here's the little screws to tighten this down once you insert it. And I'm guessing that is going to happen where? We'll probably figure it out in a second here. Okay, so this base, I'm not reading the instructions, so <laughs> whatever I'm not understanding is my own fault. So hang on. So here's what else is in the box, by the way. Oh, the power supply is a wall wart? Is that right? Well, that's kind of weird. So the power supply, it's not a wall ward, but it's, it's got a, its own, it's, it's an external power supply. It's not inside the monitor, which I guess is fine. It's, it's easier to replace if it ever dies. And then here's the cord, power cord that plugs into it. Um, and then they gave me all kinds of cables here. HDMI. Is this HDMI too? Huh. So display port and HDMI and USB is what they gave me. So that's display port. And then they gave me uh, USB. 
Alright, so blah, 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 we did that, we did that. So is that it? I think I'm missing something here. Oh, I see. Then you turn it. So this, the screws go right in here, but you gotta... I think we gotta take that collar off. Got it. That's what it is. So you take that collar off, and then you put in these little thumb screws that you can do hand tight. Okay, so let's bring this over to the desk, and I guess we'll just put it on the desk and hook it up to, and by the way, there is a, supposed to be a cover that covers this right here. Yep, it's right here. So I, I'm gonna leave this off for now. I cannot believe how. So this, <laughs> this really does look like, like Star Wars, De doesn't it look like the Death Star or like a, <laughs> The snow speeder texture. And then, okay, so this thing goes on here like so. So after you get all your cables and all that, you can hide them with that thing right there. I'm just gonna keep that off for now until I get it in its permanent home. All right, I'm gonna bring this over to my desk and let's go over there and try it out for the first time. I got it on the desk here. Uh, let's let's take a quick look at the ports, okay? So underneath here, right there's the power plug right there. So we're gonna plug that in in a second. Um, headphone jack, there's a little port right here that says service use only. There's a little USB hub right here. So that USB cord they gave you, you probably plug it into this one, then into the computer, and then you have four uh, USB ports. And then right here is an HDMI. Uh, port and then a uh, display port. So there's no DVI port or obviously VGA. Um, so if you have a super old video card, you're out of luck. Um, so let's go ahead and put the power right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I gotta take the plastic off. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna pull the display port out of the back of my, um, my LG and we'll plug it right into this, and then maybe we'll launch uh, Wildlands after we set it up. And we do need to set it up. Okay, so the stand is actually cool. I mean, it's very positionable. Positionable, okay, left, right, up, down, tilt forward, tilt back. So I, I do like that, but I get the same kind of range of motion with my, with my stand back there that's mounted to my desk. Um, and then there's that little joystick on the back here, which will be kind of hard to show you guys. So um, the LG had a joystick too, but it was on the bottom in a really peculiar spot. So let's turn this on. I don't, know, I don't even know where the power. Let's give it a video signal. Maybe it's not happy. Okay, I just hot swapped the display port and it says light in motion. Where's my mouse? Okay. So this is a bit of a mess here, but there's a little joystick here on the, the back, which actually is very convenient. So right now, this is my secondary display. I gotta get my displays order set up here real quick. So I'm gonna go into NVIDIA control panel. Uh, it's, go, it's using the top monitor right now. All right, so let me get the orientation right. Okay. Okay, now it, it knows what's going on. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let me turn this light off. Okay, so right away, I, I mean, yeah, it looks beautiful. Um, the curve is very subtle, actually. It's not as significant as I had thought. Oh my God, I didn't hit that apply on that. 
Okay, so now let's go to the resolution. So actually, we have to overclock this thing. So by default, it's at six. Actually, it's at 1340 by 40, 1440, 60 hertz. Okay, and that's not what we want. So let's go in here and go to overclocking on, and then max refresh rate. And we're going to change it to 100. Okay. After reboot, test the max refresh eight by enabling it in the NVIDIA control panel. If you don't see an image, I think I need to reboot it. Okay. All right, so you hit yes. It's rebooting. I don't see any dead pixels, by the way, and I, I'm not really seeing any black light bleed, which everyone says is a problem with this monitor. God, why is it flipping out like that? Uh, hang on. It keeps losing the primary display. Okay. Yes, it's good. Okay, so now... If I bring this down here. So let's go to change resolution. There, now we, 3440 by 1440. Now we do 100 hertz. My last monitor was 60 hertz, so now we're at 100. Okay, that's good. Set up G-Sync. Enable G-Sync, I want it for windowed and full screen mode. Because sometimes, you know, I play games in in a windowed mode when I'm streaming so I can get out of the window. Okay, so hit apply. All right, it took. So that's it, we should be all set up there and it all happened inside the NVIDIA uh, control panel. So we've got our resolution is 3440, 100 Hertz. Um, we have G-Sync turned on. We overclocked it in the back here. And by the way, real quick, let's kind of go through the on-screen display here and look at all the different options for this monitor. So you press a little joystick in the back, this thing pops up, so overclocking mode is on, checked. We already turned that on. Max refresh rate is 100. We come down here to game visuals. These are kind of like different color modes. There's scenery mode, racing mode, cinema mode, RTS, RPG mode, FPS, first person shooter mode, S. RGB mode. I talked to my friend Michelle who has this same monitor and she said she prefers the FPS mode. There's a little more contrast when you're playing. So we say reset and then it's in that mode. And like if we went to like, you could see the colors changing in the background there. Like that looks, like cinema mode to me looks a little washed out. So let's do FPS mode. I, I like that. It's very stark. Um, over here is a blue light filter. Um, different levels, you know, if you're, if you're susceptible to that. Uh, color, brightness, contrast, saturation, and color temp. I have it set at default 80, 50, 50. I guess we could play with that later. Uh, image on stream display, extreme, normal. Wow, I actually don't know what that is. We'll have to look into that. Input select, and then system setup. Now the light in motion setting down here, see this level zero, one, two, three. That is actually the LED light that's down there you see that so if i were to change that to zero it turns it off one two and it gets brighter and brighter now we're going to lose this because i'm telling you right now ultimately i am going to mount this on my vase mount back there because this this is not going to work with my desk but that is pretty cool you know do i need it no <laughs> is it cool yes uh, you know, the Acer Predator monitor is a lot like this one. It doesn't have that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's kind of neat. So I think that's about it. There's a sound settings in here, volume, you know, if, if you're using the built-in speakers, which I'm not. But I guess when I play with, like, my Switch, I probably will use the built-in... Boy, the Switch is going to look like crap on this, isn't it? <laughs> so, all right, so why don't we try a game? What do you think? I'm going to load up Ghost Recon. Um... I just want to see what it looks like on this 1440p monitor. I think it'd be fun. Let me load it up. Okay, we're actually in the game right now, and I have the settings already set, and I'll show you what I did. Um, 
I turned all the lights off down here and you know, this monitor is so wide, this is like really hard to, to film here. But if I go into options um, and we go to video, so it's set to 3440 by 1440. Um, you wanna make sure the refresh rate is set to 100 hertz with this monitor because, um, well, it's 100 hertz. So every game, you're gonna wanna do that. And you wanna turn V-Sync off because we're using G-Sync. We don't want V-Sync. We'll have competing syncs going on. So that's off. And then, let's see, my other settings here. Graphics, I just did a preset of very high. And, and you can go back and tweak those settings later if you wanna get a little higher frame rates. Um, and I certainly will do that. You know, this game's pretty, not that optimized, I don't think, compared to other stuff. You know, if, if we played like Call of Duty or something right now, we'd be seeing much higher frames. I'm guessing, let's, let's see what happens here, it's loading. So, well right now this is a pre-rendered thing, so I don't know if this is even the full resolution. This could be upscaled. All right, so let's go, get in the game here. Loading, loading, loading. I gotta tell you, um, these widescreen monitors are just amazing though. I I'm just looking at this thing. Oh man, look at how good this looks. <laughs> yeah, so this looks sick. Like my frames right now are in the 70s and that's on very high with the 1080 Ti and it's 1440p, right? Um, ideally you wanna have, uh, you wanna be in, you wanna get to 100 cause that's taking full potential of the monitor and I'm sure if we went into the settings we could probably get there but it's very smooth and it looks very, very good, guys. <laughs> oh man, it's like sick. Oops. Let's get in this van, minibus. Go. I mean, this is not the Ghost Recon video, but better not roll this thing. Like everything just looks very crisp, though. Like, like the detail on the guy's uniform and stuff. It's it's pretty unbelievable how great it looks. Like you could see like every little thing on there. All right, so that's Ghost Recon. My frame rate not so great. I'm sure we could play with it and get it there. I'm thinking, I want to try like like Counter-Strike or something that I know the frame rates are going to be off the chart, off the charts, and just really see how, how that feels. So let me load up Counter-Strike. Okay, I lied. Actually, we're going to play Overwatch because I don't have CSGO installed right now. So let's go to options. This is more of a modern game anyway. So display mode, right now I have it set to 1340 by 1440, 100 hertz. Uh, the default here was at 60, it's at 100 now. Um, I'm seeing advanced performance stats, uh, display performance stats is on. I want to see my frames per second in the top left. I also have it on in the top right uh, with the uh, Asus uh, FPS counter. And then limit uh, FPS, uh, I'm going to say yes, and let's make it 100 so that it matches our display. Okay, there's no reason for us to go more than 100. Um, and V-Sync is off. So, all right, let's try a game here. So I'm going to let it load and we'll come back and, and see how it performs. Right now the FPS is like 60, but that's like in the menus. It must be locked in at the menus at that. Okay, we got into a match here, and my FPS right now is, is locked in pretty much 99, 100 in the top left here. Um, it's going, it's just, it's literally 199 back and forth, back and forth. So, I'd say we're at 100 frames per second. And again, my last monitor, 60 frames per second. So, this is obviously faster <laughs> and more pixels. All right, come on. Won't let me pick her. No healers. All right, we'll be that. Okay. So yeah, we're at 9,900 frames. God, this is buttery smooth, guys. I mean, graphically, this game is not super intensive, but everything looks really great. All right, here we go. I don't know if I ever played as this character. One, two, 
Now we'll just play this for a little bit. I'm gonna disconnect, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna get a mark. So is this gonna make me a better player? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> So I'm looking here in the corners. I don't really see any of that black light bleed. Um, no, I, I think I got a good monitor. I love that we're locked in at 100 frames per second here. Can make me a better sniper behind a shield. All right, well, hey, you know what? I'm gonna try this some more later. You know, I'm definitely gonna try like all my games. Like, I cannot wait to do that. But I tell you what, let's. I want to do something. Let, let's call my friend Michelle because <laughs> she has this monitor and she's had it a lot longer than me. I think it'd be kind of fun to call her. So hang on, let, let me <laughs> let me go to the desktop here and we'll give her a call. Uh, Michelle? Yes, John? Yeah, it's John. Um, you're in my video right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how nice of you to warn me. Yeah, you're What's in your... Uh, well, I just... Well, I, I'm doing my uh, my Asus ROG uh, a monitor video review and unboxing. And, and so far, I've unboxed it. I set it up. We, we, we tried a couple games like uh, uh, Ghost Recon and Overwatch, but, you know, I haven't had a lot okay. of experience with it, and you certainly have, because you've had this monitor for a long time, right? I have. You know, the thing I want to talk about with you, though, is that I don't know if you talked about was kind of the fear surrounding this monitor that we get from a lot of people who listen to Video Game Outsiders that know I have it. They're always like, but what about the curve? You know, but what about how big it is? What about ultra-wide? So... I, I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about the curve? Because I absolutely love it. I feel it's more immersive and it's very slight, if anything, it, right? I, I think the curve is very subtle. I, I thought it was going to be more curved. Um, and yep. basically, the, the the point of the curve is so you can see a little more left and right peripheral when you're looking straight ahead, right? Is that kind of why they're doing that? So it's yeah. a little more immersive? Well, because... 34 inches is pretty big, but it's about the height of a 27-inch monitor, so it felt very comfortable to me. And because of the slight curve, the 34 inches, kind of, you can see more of it, like you said, in your vision, and that sort of helps with the immersion of games. So yeah. a lot of the fear people have about it is, can you use it to, you know, edit pictures or work in the internet? And I absolutely love it. It doesn't impact me in any way. So I have no complaints about the monitor. I, I think it's probably going to be the last monitor I own for a very long time, and I know you're a big fan of, of ultra wide, and I always advise people to try it out, keep an open mind with it, because I really don't see any downsides to it. So, but the thing that I was like looking into a lot before I purchased it was basically the two that were available were the Asus and the Acer Predator, and those were the only ultra wide G Sync monitors, and they're like the same panel. But people always ask me, why did you go with the Asus? And I think it's because um, the stand is better. Yeah. And I know you're not even using the stand, but it actually has like 4D adjustment compared to like 3D. They also have the Acer rapid replacement program. So if it breaks, you can, I think you have two or three years, they send you a new monitor and then you send yours back. So you never have to be without it. Right. So they have and a better warranty. I know that you can, they do. And I've, I've kind of, the, the quality kind of control was a bit better at the start when the Acer first released. They, they, they were having some issues with some of the panels, but they're both the exact same panel. Um, and I know this one overclocks very easy. You just basically go in the monitor and set it to 100 hertz refresh. So yeah, and we did that in the so video it's already. Of little things. It's like, yeah, yeah it's se painless. setting up the monitor and just getting in and, and playing was painless. But, you know, I've only played like yes. two games now, and you've been playing yeah. for like a year with this monitor. I mean, ha I mean, do you feel yeah. like it really upped your game? Are you smoother? Are oh, you yeah. more precise? 100%. Oh, yeah. I mean, when I first, uh, you know, I had played Rainbow Six Siege tons, and this, this was the first game I played when I got the monitor. I went back right into Rainbow Six Siege, and immediately, I could not believe how smooth it felt when zooming in especially. I mean, just running around, you can see it, because there's no, like, dipping of the frames. Like, everything keeps smooth, but it helped me be more precise with shooting, and I started playing better, and I'm not even just saying that. Like, it was just that it felt very kind of fluid, 
and I was just instantly zooming in, shooting people. And I don't know if you're feeling it at all, depending on the games you try, but it's like you don't skip a beat. Those skip frames kind of take you out of something very yeah. precise, like shooting and aiming. Well, I haven't, I haven't so, played a um, ton. I, to mention. I haven't played okay. a ton, but I played a little bit of Overwatch, and I had that one new character with the sniper rifle. Um, and I noticed right yeah, away how what how easy it was to to just zoom in that put the you know put a red put the reticule on what you want and it didn't feel jerky right. at all you know no and you're not getting any of that weird input lag because now you have v-sync off in games which used to be sort of the pseudo way to keep things smooth now you can use g-sync and as long as you keep your frames over even like 45 it's going to feel completely smooth something i wanted to mention too was different the uh, acer monitor was a joystick on the back of this thing i absolutely love it i use it all the time to swap between different color settings because you know there's different presets i know i think you mentioned yeah. um for different games and i and i swap all the time depending on what game i'm playing if i want it brighter and more precise i'll use the fps mode if i'm playing an RPG and I want it a little more subdued so I use that joystick a lot and that that's not on the Acer either so yeah love this monitor no complaints and it's probably the last one like I said I'm gonna have for a long time awesome all right well cool and, and by the way if, if you guys are not aware Michelle and I do a podcast called video game outsiders right we Michelle <laughs> uh, it's actually you know it's become more PC oriented later but yeah stuff like this is what makes PC gaming so fun to talk about you know because there's always something new and exciting to try, and technology pushes further and further. Exactly. So be sure to check out check out our podcast. Uh, we do it every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, uh, and also go, or, or just go to videogameoutsiders.com. It's the easiest way to find yeah, all or the get links. Our app. Yeah. I think our app is the easiest way. Yeah, and of course we have. If you go to if you go to the iOS store and Google Play Store, search for Video Game Outsiders and download our free app, and you get all the podcasts and all that stuff. So, all right, Michelle, I, I just wanted so. to kind of get some of your input here because you've had the monitor longer than me, and this is my little yes. unboxing review, and I appreciate the insight. And uh, I'm sure we'll, well be talking you know, I look more. Forward to playing PUBG with you, yes, yeah, sometime. <laughs> We're gonna play Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and see if it helps you. Yes, I, I cannot wait to play that game with this new monitor. So. So, all right. Set the date, John. Set the date. Yep. All right, Michelle. Well, thanks. We'll talk soon. All right, John. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. All right, guys. There you have it. That was the unboxing, review, impressions, and all that good stuff for the PG348 Asus ROG Swift Curve Gaming Monitor. That thing's a monster, guys. I, I really can't wait to play with it some more, but my impressions uh, thus far are kind of like, wow. <laughs> so, God, that we're, I have to get rid of that box. I, I think I'm gonna burn it or something. How do I get rid of that thing? <laughs> so, so anyway, guys, that, that's it, we're done. Uh, I wanna thank you for watching this video, and, and thanks for subscribing and commenting and, and all that good stuff. Uh, be sure to tell your friends. Uh, and, and, and of course, if you haven't subscribed, Click that subscribe button down below. We try to do new videos here on John Sucks It Videos every week. And actually, Michelle and I are gonna be doing more stuff together on this channel. Um, uh, for sure, the Let's Plays. Her and I like to play uh, PUBG a lot. And, and of course, if you're not aware, again, you know we have a podcast called Video Game Outsiders. Uh, just go to videogameoutsiders.com. We've been doing that podcast for about 12, 13 years, okay? And uh, we do it live every Tuesday. We're on Rycast, uh, which is a big comedy network at Rycast.com. And we've been uh, basically doing the show live on YouTube lately, uh, youtube.com slash VGOcast. And if you can't make the live show, don't worry. You know, it's a weekly audio podcast. Go get our app on iTunes and also Google Play. Just search Video Game Outsiders. The app is free. And we also do like little bonus episodes and stuff. But anyway, just, just start with all that stuff. So. <laughs> so anyway, that's it guys for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to get that monitor all set up uh, on my uh, VESA mount and all that. Um, because right now it's a bit disorganized, but I'm gonna have dueling uh, wide screens. That's gonna be pretty badass, right? Because the top monitor is gonna be my LG and the bottom will be the Asus. So I'll have two 21 by nine monitors on top of each other. That's gonna be pretty slick. Uh, so anyway, all right, that's it, we're done. Uh, thanks for subscribing and liking and commenting and all that stuff. And, and, and tell me what you think of the video. Leave, leave comments below. All right, guys, I'll see you very soon. Later and bye.